Ryan Brownlee, uh, Western Illinois baseball head coach. This is Figure It Out Baseball. Uh, these are professional life skills. Um, our, we do a lot of classroom sessions with our guys. A lot of the stuff that we'll talk about here, I talk about with our guys in our first meeting. I, I really feel like if they can get on top of these habits, it will help them be a, a great student and also a great baseball player. And, and that's what I'm concerned with the classroom side of things just as much as the baseball side of things. I grew up in a household with two educators, uh, so I've seen firsthand what, what that can do for kids. And over a lifetime of coaching, I've seen this help guys more than, than anything mechanically that I've ever done with guys. So um, we give something to our guys. Uh, it's called the 10 Rules of Recovery. So this is the first place that we start out eight hours of sleep and and you read the research now if you're looking for a good book out there the book called why we sleep is a tremendous read uh, you know again I don't make this stuff up I do a lot of reading so I pick up bits and pieces from other people they're saying now that most teenagers need 10 hours um, so a college guys usually 8 to 10 if they can do that with that if you're in a rut mentally try to go to sleep and wake up at the same time it will clean up a lot of, of, of things stress-wise that you're going through. If you're sluggish in the morning, try it for a week. Try it for a week to go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time. So realistically, you could go to bed at midnight, especially in the summer. If you're a high school kid, you could go to bed at midnight and wake up at eight o'clock or 10 o'clock, but do it the same for a whole week. You will feel way better when you wake up in the morning. Uh, from there, we go eat breakfast upon waking. Um, Again, you're going to burn a lot of calories as a teenager, as a college kid. Uh, so, you know, hopefully you put something in your, your stomach before you go to sleep. I was a guy that needed to drink uh, milkshakes before he went to bed, uh, peanut butter milkshakes, banana milkshakes. Uh, I was extremely skinny. I uh, showed up at college at 142 pounds, left at 185. My junior year, I was up to 185. So three years, I put on 40 pounds of muscle, and it completely changed my game. Um, eat every two to three hours. This is something that goes in with meal prepping. So we do want our guys eat breakfast upon waking. So whenever they get up two to three hours later, they need to be eating something else. We have a fueling station here. So that does help with them getting some snacks in between their meals. Uh, the, the old days of breakfast, lunch, and dinner, huge meals are over with. If you can get five to six to seven smaller meals throughout the day, you will get to your optimal weight. You will burn fat and you will put on, you will pack on muscle if you do that. Um, again, eat clean. Um, you wanna eat protein with every meal. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, try to eat protein with every meal. Uh, consume a pro workout shake. So whatever that is, shake-wise, we use Gatorade shakes, but again, any sort of whey protein that is out there. And, and for you guys that are trying to figure out, there's two different types of, whey, of protein. Whey protein is fast acting protein, so it goes into the bloodstream system ex extremely quick. And then there's casein protein. Casein protein is good for overnight protein. So if you're looking for something that can help you maintain muscle overnight, drink casein protein and before you go to sleep. That's a slow releasing protein. So that's gonna allow your body to keep constant nutrition. Casein protein is C-A-S-E-I-N. Uh, you can get casein or whey protein at Walmart. G I use GNC for most of my supplements. Um, you can order, I, again, there's a variety, um, but I would go, you know, the hard part is trying to find out what's clean and what's not clean. A lot of the supplements out there are outsourced from China, so that would be a first place to start. If you're gonna take any sort of supplement, make sure you check and find out where the supplement comes from because if it comes from overseas chances are it's not what you think it is so try to get something that's that's been produced in the united states so that's a first place to look because you just don't know most supplements are not approved by the fda uh, so again you don't you may think you're taking something that that you actually aren't there that's why a lot of guys false positive on drug tests uh, guy just happened in the nfl just got got positive uh, but he didn't know what he was taking. Um, again, make sure you know where this stuff is coming from before you take anything. Drink a gallon of water a day. Um, I have a shaker bottle that is with me at all times. Uh, if you don't have water in front of you, you won't drink it, okay? So I drink a ton of water a day because it's with me. So it's with me, I drink it. Um, it's an easy way to actually get a ton of water. Uh, avoid high fat and processed foods, so stay away from fast food. Uh, I know that's difficult, 
Um, but again, meal prep matters. If you want to eat clean, if you want to pack on good muscle, you need to try to stay away from fast food and especially fried foods. Uh, avoid simple sugars, caffeine. Um, you know, caffeine is not terrible, but again, when you're taking caffeine with a bunch of, of sugary drinks with it, that's when it becomes bad, okay? Straight caffeine is not a terrible thing. Uh, again, I don't recommend it for younger kids. Uh, younger kids don't need caffeine. Um, when you get to be 45, you may have to crush a little bit of caffeine here and there. But again, it's not necessary. If you're eating right, sleeping right, and drinking enough water, you shouldn't need caffeine. Um, five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day, uh, which for me is a big one. If you can get on top of five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day, you will feel way better. Um, uh, you know, Throughout the day, your energy will sustain throughout the day. You'll feel way better when you wake up. Uh, again, it's just a lifestyle habit. Um, if you want to be a professional about what you're doing, these are things that you need to do. And then finally, a post-workout stretch. Uh, we mix in yoga uh, once a week, uh, but you know, don't just be in a hurry after you get done lifting to, to rush out of there. Uh, especially with baseball, uh, flexibility matters. Um, you know, mobility matters, shoulder mobility matters, hip mobility matters. So again, you want to try to reset and get those muscles back to a resting state. If you don't, muscles stay constricted. Um, you want to try to post-workout stretch because you want to try to get your muscles back to a resting state, way healthier for your muscles. Uh, also increases or uh, decreases the recovery time. You're not going to be sore the next day if you stretch afterwards. Uh, even though at a certain point is you can mix in stretching while you lift. Uh, that's a way to get some of that knocked out. Um, again, this is from a life, lifetime of lifting. Uh, I was in one of the first generations of baseball players that was okay to lift, so I uh, lifted as a high schooler. Um, so I've been in that habit of lifting um, since I was in high school, and it does help. Uh, you know, it's, it's more about hitting small things every day, and that's what these habits are. These are daily habits. If you do small things every day and get into those routines, you're going to feel way better. You'll be a better baseball player, but you'll be, a better, you'll be better in the classroom as well because all this stuff helps with brain function. As well and this is the finish of, of part one of professional habits and we're now going to move on to, to part two of professional habits and we'll get into some meditation uh, mindfulness exercises things that I, I feel like really help people go to the next level and eliminate a lot of stress life is stressful so I, I do feel like these habits that you get into will eliminate a lot of the daily stress that you go to so hopefully you stay with it and hopefully you like the next video